I'm very fond of, of characters, you know, saying the wrong thing and then ultimately doing the right thing and like being able to, you know, uh, look at human issues instead of m messaging or explaining. I try to, you know, and it did that. It just sort of went to the core of, of things that come up in relationship and out of, out of, you know, care and concern, especially when, you know, someone that you care about is maybe at risk of being, you know, uh, hurt or, or made fun of or, you know, and it, it, it kicks up a lot of complicated things in spite of a lot of, you know, uh, movement towards understanding uh, differences. It's still very difficult to have inclusiveness and this really does it in a human way. You know, you can read two pages of, of a script and know if it's authentic or not and this definitely was and um you know i happen to be a new york mom with a four-year-old son so <laughs> um in in the depths of marriage you know in the best way but uh so yeah it was um very accessible to me um not exactly self-referential but you know but very intensely relatable but i think even if that there wasn't that the exact parallel in a lot of respects I, I would have been drawn to it just because it's so beautifully constructed and you know and da uh, Daniel d does such a such a deaf job of you know talking about these political concepts but doing it through the voices of r really layered complex uh, grounded people who are in actual relationship with each other. As a South Asian actor, I think what's driving me right now in Hollywood and in global entertainment is to see parts written for someone like me, is to see me not being put in a box of what you know an Indian actress would be or not being stereotyped and those parts don't exist very much and to actually fight that fight for the next generation that comes in um, uh, and to break that concrete I think for me that's that's a huge huge drive to just normalize being who I am and what I look like.